Hey, this is Big Dave. We got another video. It's uh, maintenance on small engines. Uh, this is a small engine lawnmower. It's a Craftsman 6.0, 6 horsepower push mower. Um, it's in dire need of maintenance. Um, I was mowing the lawn a couple of weeks ago and I realized that I had a rust problem when my bottom adapter here, this one, that holds the blade in place, uh, broke. And you can see the quality of this adapter here, the thickness of the metal. I believe that's uh, stainless steel. But uh, I had a rust problem due to accumulation of grass and dirt and mud and whatnot underneath and lack of cleaning it. Uh, I inherited this from a family member and uh, I didn't clean it up properly uh, a couple of summers ago. So I'm doing, uh, you know, some overdue maintenance on it. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to sharpen our blade over here, which um, I've got it in a C-clamp. got the cutting edge over here, cutting edge over here. I've got my cordless drill with a blade sharpener attachment on the end. So that's going to be nice. Make my job a lot easier. And uh, what we got here? We got a uh, quart of oil, 10W30, for four stroke small engines or four cycle small engines. And uh, got a balancer here. We'll show you how to use that. Want to make sure that your blade's balanced or you're going to get major vibrations and shakes. Uh, your lawnmower's not going to be too happy. We're also re replacing the filter today. So, when this broke loose, the bolt that holds everything together to the engine, believe it or not, it broke loose as well. It was rusted out pretty bad. So, I haven't turned this baby over and looked at the underside yet, but we're going to have to scrape all the dried on grass and clean that up. And then we're going to reinstall that blade after we get it uh, get it sharpened down. So, take our blade here, cutting edge is on the underside, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to wedge it here in between this white guard and the grindstone itself, you see it's uh, at an angle. So the white back side is going to be flat against the back side of the blade here. And then I'm just going to go along. And sharpen it just like that. Okay. So I'm going to finish that up, get this blade sharp, and then uh, we'll go to the next step of maintaining our push mower. Okay, so we got our lawnmower blade on both sides nice and sharp. Now I need to focus on the underside of this nasty mower. And here's what we got. We got caked on grass, dirt, mud. I just need to get a putty knife or something equivalent. Cut through that crap. Scrape it all off. Okay, after you're done scraping all the loose debris, whatever you can't get, just uh, scrape off with a wire brush. Be sure to disconnect the spark plug, give it a few quick turns and take it right off. Push it aside. You always want the spark plug disconnected before you get started. So by a local big box store, I bought a kit, a blade balancer, 
as you saw before the, the sharpener here sharpener attachment for my cordless drill and we're going to put this balancer to work here so I'm just going to lay the blade on like so and if it tips to one side uh, you probably need to shave down the other the opposite side a little bit more or vice versa so this one looks balanced we look like uh, we're ready to take the next step next we're going to drain the oil so uh, flip your mower on its side and you're going to see a little recessed uh, bolt here which you're going to take a 3 8 ratchet and it should fit right into that area start loosening it get your pan ready flip it over let it drain for a few minutes next we're gonna add the oil we've got our premium four cycle uh, small engine oil here perfect for push motors or push mowers um, so we're gonna go ahead and add about a quarter of the uh, quarter to a half of the bottle and then we're gonna check our uh, oil level and uh, add uh, more as needed next step you definitely don't want to overlook it is uh, changing your air filter this needs to be done every season as well maybe twice every season if you have a dusty backyard like mine so you take a standard flathead screwdriver um, and you loosen the cover here and uh, pull back on the cover and slide that filter right out and put your new one in um, in the same orientation and uh, make sure that covers on uh, nice and tight sealed back up and uh, you've got this step taken care of all right time to put the blade back on it is important how you put all the pieces back in their correct orientation so we got our main bracket here there is a slot right here and there is a notch right here that fits. There we go. Okay, we got that on there. We got a washer that goes on next. Next step is installing the blade and the washers. You want to start with the blade first. It goes on top of the adapter. Um, it's got two round notches that allows the uh, the blade to fit on perfectly. Make sure your blade is not upside down. Um, so check the orientation of your blade. You want to be able to cut the grass, not knock it down. So put that blade on first, and then your main washer is going to go on top of that, and your little um, lock washer is going to go on top of that, and uh, then you're going to put your bolt into place and um, tighten that down, and uh, then you're about ready there. Alright, next step we need to tighten down our bolt and uh, get everything permanently in place. So we're just going to take our 14 millimeter socket here, attach it to our 3 8 wrench and start tightening it down. Now you notice here I've got a brick holding the blade in place so it doesn't spin. Ideally you probably want to use a wooden block um, so you don't damage your blade but this is all I had on hand so works just fine. 
Um, if you want to get exact with it, you can torque it, uh, see the manufacturer's specs on it. Um, otherwise, uh, just tighten it down as much as you can. All right, now time to put the spark plug back on, um, prime it, make sure it's got plenty of gas, and uh, we're going to give her a crank and see how she goes. Dave DIY on maintaining your push lawnmower. Appreciate you watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.